Hey guys, Pat here. So let's talk about blocking. Oh my god, you block people? You are such a hypocrite. You are a little cuck snowflake. Everyone knows only SJWs block people. Well hey, that's not true. I mean, don't get me wrong, I just don't blindly block people I disagree with or don't like. But there's a point when someone keeps coming at you that it's no longer a discussion, or even an argument for that matter. They're just being vacuous assholes. I mean, you know how many times I get a comment where someone's calling me racist or sexist and they just won't let it go? They come back over and over and over again even though I'm trying to have a conversation with them? I mean, I don't want to block people, but sometimes, I hate to be this way, you have to. I don't know why we set up this narrative that you just have to shame someone for blocking people. It doesn't mean you have your little safe space or you're keeping them from having free speech. I mean, they still have their free speech. They can go make a video shitting on you and say whatever they want. They just can't comment on your Twitter or comment on your YouTube account or your Facebook or what have you. I guess I can see people's points somewhat, but at the end of the day... Is it wrong to enjoy yourself the way you want to enjoy yourself? Why do you have to let people in? Why do you have to let everyone in? I mean, can't you be 80% and then you could have that little 20% of people that you block that, that piss you off? No, you don't get it. That's a safe space. You're being a snowflake. Listen, all of you skeptic channels always bitch about Steve Shives blocking and all the SJWs. So when you block someone, you're just taking away their free speech. You're trying to deplatform them. You're a bad person, Pat. God, I'm not trying to deplatform anyone. God, I didn't even block for years. I had a rule about it that I wouldn't block people because of this shit. Because people get so upset about it. They get so butt hurt. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I see everyone on Twitter always bitching about people coming at them or saying shit. And then they don't block them. It's like they want the drama. They want the attention. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want a drama. I don't want this attention. I'm, I'm not an attention whore. I don't want a bunch of negative comments and people fighting with me all day. And once again, I'm not saying I block people who leave negative comments. And 98% of the negative comments stay up. It's when you try to have a discourse with someone and they're like, not going to have it. They just, they just, they're, not, they're basically blocking you out. They're not listening to you. And then they, they go comment on several of your other videos. I had a guy just the other day. Me and him were having a discussion on one video. Then he went and commented on 15 other videos. And each one of them was an attack on me. And he was basically harassing other people in the comment section. But me blocking him makes me a cuck? It's just like AIU. AIU blocks everyone because he doesn't like anyone who disagrees with him. He's a little baby. I mean, to be fair, AIU does block people way too much. He'll block like 50 to 100 people per video because he doesn't want to hear anything. Even if you just leave a negative comment, he blocks you. See, I'm not saying that. Just because people leave negative comments or say mean things about you doesn't mean you should block them. In fact, you should hear them out most of the time because there might be truth to what they're saying. However, if we're being fair here... I don't think I'm creating a safe space because this isn't a, a public environment. This isn't the park. This isn't me in a university campus trying to prevent a person coming to speak. I make YouTube videos for my own enjoyment because it's things I want to talk about and the way I want to talk about them. If you want to come in and talk the way you want to talk and, and have a conversation with me about it, that's fine. But when you start calling me a racist, a bigot, a homophobe, and we go back and forth after a while, and you get really insulting... It's at their points like, well, dude, I'm not going to listen to your shit. And you don't win because I block you. There's this strange misconception that you have a victory if somebody blocks you. If they block you on Facebook, if they unfriend you, or they block you on Twitter. It's not a victory that a person decides that they find you so goddamn annoying that they don't even want to see you anymore or hear anything you have to say. I, I don't know why we have this weird double standard with it. If anything, I'd blame uh, YouTubers and the and forums and the internet market. We made it that blocking got stigmatized, that you were a pussy or a bitch if you block someone. Which, once again, I guess I can sort of get it in these generic alpha terms. But if we're being realistic, some people, you just want to block sometimes. And the reason you're not blocking them is more your ego than your happiness. You don't want people to call you out for blocking. You don't want to be called a hypocrite. 
But here's the thing, though. I rarely bitch about people who block other people. If Steve Shives wants to block people that he doesn't agree with, more power to him. If J.K. Rowling and all the all the leftists on the regressives on Twitter want to block people, that's fine. I don't really care. It's their Twitter. It can block who they want. It's like people bitching about Trump blocking people. Like, oh my god, he blocked me. Now, don't get me wrong. It's weird to think Trump staying up late at night blocking people on Twitter. But he has every right to block you. You don't have a right to see the president's tweets. It's Twitter. He, he, he addresses people publicly, and you can always read those tweets somewhere else. But you don't have a right to just automatically comment on his Twitter account, especially if you're being an asshole. I mean, I don't mind being blocked, and being blocked doesn't make me think I won some kind of battle against someone. All it makes me think is, wow, I must really be annoying to this person. Sometimes you get shut out. It's like when you're texting a girl too much or you're messaging her too much, and then she's like, leave me the fuck alone, creeper. It's the same thing. Some people get creepy. They get too intimate. They, they don't seem to understand the barrier between you and them that, hey, listen... There is a certain level here of anonymity, or at least, even though anonymity is slowly going away in, in the world we live in today, still, people have this crazy idea that you're only trying to keep people away because you're scared, because you're not willing to have the argument, because you're not willing to have the discussions. That's just not true. There's just a point when someone's no longer going to have that discussion with you. And they're done with you. They already see you as a piece of shit. They've already strawmanned you. They've already decided who you are. They've already decided what your opinion means and what your video means or what you mean by your tweet. Now, I'm not recommending you go on a block fest and block a bunch of people, but I've been blocking a few more people recently. You know, occasionally when somebody really comes at me and we have a conversation back and forth and... Then they just tell me I'm a fucking moron and they, they write paragraphs about shit and they want to just keep fighting. I'm just like, all right, dude, I'm just not going to let you comment on my shit anymore. Or when they start going after other people that are on your channel. it It's, I, I guess if people want to call you a baby and they want to call you a hypocrite for it, that's fine. I suppose that comes with the territory. But I'm here to say let's kill the stigma. Embrace blocking. You know what would solve the SJW issue? All of it and the, the, the politics and all of it. If people blocked people, if the SJWs who get hurt by things block those people, they would never get upset by them. They basically only don't block them because they don't want to admit they like the drama. That they feed off the drama. They love it when people talk about them in videos or when people tweet about them. I mean, I, I don't know why we all complain so much. It's only the people out there that are saying they want to have debates and they don't want to block people. I've never really said that. I don't have an issue with blocking because I did it even when I was on forums as a teenager. All these girls that complain about harassment online, block people. All these people that complain about harassment in video games like Anita Sarkeesian, mute people. You don't have to hear them talk. You don't like people bitching about you in your videos or disagreeing with you? You can disable your comments, but I'm not going to do that. I don't say disable your comments, but it, there's nothing wrong with blocking. There never was anything wrong with blocking, and we all blocked, and we were all used to blocking, and it was an okay thing, and then nowadays we made this weird fucking stigma about it. We, 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 we made a straw man that everyone who blocks is being weak, but it's not a weakness, it's a strength. It's you deciding, I'm not going to put up with your shit anymore, I want to be happy Sometimes you have to cut people out of your life because you want to be happy. It's like having a really shitty friend you don't want to put up with anymore, despite like, you know, you like hanging out with them, but, but they're bad for you. They're toxic. Some people are toxic for your creativity. They destroy it. Yet I'm so sick of seeing people complain on Twitter or on their YouTube accounts about what people say. Or how much they have to deal with. It's like, well, dude, just block some of those people. And then you wouldn't be able to come on here and bitch about it all the time. You just want to bitch. And so a lot of it is. I don't want to bitch about these people anymore. I'm just going to say, hey, fuck you. Bye-bye. And if you guys think less of me because of that, sure. But I've always said, don't apologize for being an asshole. D don't apologize for an opinion. And you shouldn't apologize for blocking someone you find annoying. Okay? It, it's not it's not like they got one in over on you, like they trolled you so well that they won the battle. No, they annoyed you. A lot of the times it's not even you laughing or being angry. You're just like, Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. 
Just stop talking, stop commenting, stop saying shit. And I'm sure people feel that way about me. Well, if you want, you can block me. There you go. But that's just my opinion. I think blocking is perfectly fine as long as you don't abuse it. Like anything else, moderation is key. But can we just end this whole thing about blocking being a bad thing and being so negative? Everyone made this bullshit up, but it's just stupid and it's really holding us all back. I say embrace the blocking revolution. It's really the only way. It's really the only way to deal with certain situations. But tell me what you think in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And I promise I'm not going to block you if you disagree with me in the comment section. It's cool. I'm, I'm just saying.